guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, me, Carter, and David are going to be doing a spoiler review for Jurassic World Chaos 3, but before we begin, uh, I hope, uh, go ahead, broskies, introduce yourselves. Hi, my name's Carter Backus. I'm one of Jack's best friends. That's true. That's good, Brooklander. It's such a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. Yo, that hey, guys, never gets old. That is so funny. <laughs> Oh, good time. <laughs> yeah, I always do that whenever we do a Camp Cretaceous or a Chaos Theory video. For sure. So anyone watching like the live again, this is going to be for a YouTube video. So to start off, we're going to be doing uh, both non-spoilers. And then once we get to spoilers, we're going to let you know. So um, for non-spoilers, um, David, would you like to begin by, by telling your, your thoughts without giving any spoilers? Yeah, I got to say, this is a really solid start to Chaos Theory. Oh, for sure. I mean, sure. there were so many twists and turns, and, like, there were moments where my jaw just dropped, and it was like, wow, I did not see that coming. All in all, I just think, um, so far it's a good show, and I'm excited to see where they go. Oh, same here. Carter, how about you give us some of your thoughts on the show without telling any spoilers? Uh, the show was pretty good, but but kind of better than Camp Cretaceous. No, no command controlling and stuff like that. True. I agree with that for sure. So with me, like, okay, like, again, like, the show is not perfect, but I do think that the show is really good. And the dinosaurs that do appear in the show, they have their moments where there's some definitely some jaw-dropping marks. And I think the, like, you know, um, the, the battles that happen are really cool. And um, the plot, again, they're all, there's also a huge uh, plot twist in the show as well that when you guys watch, you're definitely going to notice. Like, I can't say it yet, but, like, when you guys watch the show, you're, you're definitely going to notice this huge plot twist. And... There's certain characters that appear that I also didn't expect. So, like, th there definitely was some, you know, pretty crazy moments. That that's all I'm gonna say for that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. I mean, there were some surprises as far as characters and dinosaurs go that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, some unexpected uh, surprises. Same here. And also, just to like something else, I'm gonna say now. I won't go into spoilers for this, but like, there is a few dinosaurs that appear in the show that were not in the trailers. Just so you guys know as well. Yep. Which is really cool. And, um, like, you know, like, the campers, like, all the campers that appear, it's really cool. They all have their moments of character development. Like, I, you know, the character development was great. The story was great. Um, the dinosaur action scenes, like, everything was really cool in the show. And, like, the fact that there was no mind controlling is also really cool. And, again, that's not a spoiler because, like, we saw there was no mind controlling in the trailers. So, therefore, it wouldn't really be in the show that wasn't in the trailers, you know? Right. For sure. Overall, like, the show was really good. I think it has great story and everything. Um, the dinosaur designs and stuff were really uh, cool. Especially, it was really cool to see the Suko and uh, the owl because, again, that's also not a spoiler because it was in the trailers. Like when they show up, it is really cool. They get their shine when they show up. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, for sure. And episode ten, oh my god, episode ten was awesome. Oh, like it was really cool. Best, of, best I agree. episode of the season. Yeah, like the amazing. battle was awesome. Like I'm not saying what the battle is, but the battle in episode ten, when you guys see it, it was unexpected and, and it was awesome. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, and don't forget about the dinosaurs, uh, Belko, Spinex, and uh, Pachyrannosaurus. Yeah, they were also awesome to see as well. Oh, yeah. But the only other thing I can really say before we get into spoilers is that the show is really cool. I mean, um, something else I will say is that I'm not telling you guys whether the Spinosaurus appears or not just yet. But the good news is, is that it's not ruined in the show. Don't worry about it. If you're a fan of Spinosaurus the King and also like a fan of the Spino, do not worry about the Spino being ruined. Go watch it. You're safe. The show was like the show was cool. There's no room Spinosaurus or anything like that, right, guys? That's right. Yep. But um, yeah. So I guess I mean, like, w would you guys like to add anything else for non-spoilers before we switch up to the spoilers? Uh, no, no. I think we're all good. Yeah, same. True. Sure. All right, so guys, like, this is the part where if you've not seen Jurassic World Chaos Theory season one, then you got to click away from this video right now because we are about to head into full spoilers for the show. Uh, I'm gonna Good give you guys. Deep. You've been warned. I'm gonna count to ten, and you know, if you're, if I were you, leave now. If you haven't seen the show, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, five, four, three, two, one and a half. Orders and spoilers start now. I got to see the packing restaurants. Yeah, that was also awesome too. Yeah, and and. Did you see the way the Pac-Man fought the Allosaurus? Yep. It was, 
It's also awesome just to see, the, like, you know, like, again, we've been waiting to see Sukumimus and Pachyuanosaurus in the franchise for a very long time. So seeing them both appear was really awesome. Yeah, but the, I love the Pachyuanosaurus design. It's great, but I, I like the Jurassic Potion 2 design, too. But, True. But I like them both. They're pretty good. Yes. Same goes with the Suka. Like, I, I love both the Chaos Theory Suka and also the web, and also the Evolution 2 one. I think they're both cool. Yeah, like... They, they did something like to the Suko Mimus designs. Like, it's like they did to Microceratus and Baryonyx. True, true. But, right. but it's not the website, but it's like something else. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah, definitely they, different. Like the, the website designs are just supposed to be pictures and artistic representations and not the true designs of the animals in universe. Exactly. Which well, is it, a disappointment. True. A perfect example of that is that the website Baryonyx looks nothing like the movie one. Right. Exactly. Yep. And. I wonder who which Baryonyx we saw in that trailer. Like, who was that Baryonyx? I mean, not trailer, I meant in the show, that Baryonyx we saw. Oh, yeah, like, I, I, here's my theory. I think it's possibly um, one of the Baryonyx squad. What's his name? A Gr no, that wasn't Chaos. Grimms. Yeah, yeah, I think um, that's my prediction. I, I feel like that's Chaos. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like if it was Chaos, Darius and uh, Kenji would have recognized True. her. But then again, or maybe if it's not yeah, Chaos. a lot of Baryonyxes do kind of look alike. True. Well, if it's not Chaos, it's definitely one of the Baryonyxes that we see in Fallen Kingdom. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Which one? I don't know. Probably one of them. One of the ones that escaped from the Lockwood Manor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. But also, something else this show kind of confirmed is that I don't think Toro was just a smaller individual. I think that unfortunately, the medium-sized carnivores they have them smaller because the Allosaurus in the show. Like, okay, here's the here's the part where it kind of like it kind of goes back to the part where I don't think the thing feels feels canon because like the allosaurus in the show is apparently confirmed to be the same one from battle big rock but when you look at it it looks smaller and like what it doesn't make sense you know yeah that allosaurus we saw in Jurassic World Kingdom was larger yeah like the, the allosaurus in the show it looks to be about 10 meters while the one from battle big rock is supposed to be 12 meters so i think and like and like same goes back to tor tor was apparently originally supposed to be the demon one but toro is also smaller than the demon carnos so something just tells me that the medium-sized carnivores and the Campraceous lore are too small, except for the Baryonyx and the Sukumimus. They seem to be about, about correct size in the show. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Yeah. It's kind of odd, because like, if you look at the smaller carnivores in uh, uh, Jurassic World, uh, Campraceous, and Chaos, they, they seem to be correct size. And also the Apex Predators, like the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Spinosaurus, they're also correct size. But for some reason, they got Toro, the Green Carno, and the Allosaurus kind of too small, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So something tells me... It was done probably by error. Maybe it was probably a mistake. Like, like I, again, for the longest time, I just thought that Toro, which is a, just a smaller individual, but now that they've done the same thing to the owl. After this is supposed to be confirmed to be the same one from Battle Big Rock, because if you even look at the eye of the owl in Chaos Theory, it has that same blind eyes. So, I guess they just—I think it was an error, to be honest. What do you guys exactly. think? Exactly. Right. Yeah, it's an error. Yeah. Same thing with Bumpy too. Like originally, I thought like you know Bumpy was just a small individual, but maybe it's the reason why she's not much bigger is because it was also an error, possibly? Well, also, don't... Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. So, of Gore. course, Ben had a growth spurt, so of course, um, Bumpy wouldn't be that much bigger compared to him, I guess. Actually, that that's true as well. Again, like Bumpy's kind of like it's fine because again we saw bigger and cows in the show in the previous seasons. But like with the Carnotaurus' size, I think here's the thing: I feel like if Demon actually did appear in Chaos Theory, he would have been the same size as Toro, so, which wouldn't make sense because he's supposed to be ten point four meters. So, unfortunately, I like it's really confusing to why they have the medium-sized carnivores too small. Like, exactly. It's like in, in, in my opinion, it's disappointing. But what do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. So disappointing and confusing. Because, I don't know what to say about it. Yeah, like here's the thing: like uh, Toro not being the same size as the demon is fine because they're no longer they're they're no longer confirmed to be the same one. But the Allosaurus, it's like what? That doesn't make sense. That's supposed to be like, the same one for Battle of Big Rock. Yeah, like we're both from right. It's like, huh? Now, if someone can might say that oh, the reason why it's smaller is because it's it's this takes place before Battle of Big Rock. This literally takes place what three years after Battle of Big Rock? Yeah, yeah they're about. So if anything, it should, if that's, based off that logic alone, it should be at least the same size, if not bigger, you know? Yeah, so it's probably a different Allosaurus, like a smaller Allo. Well, I, I wish I could say that, but like, if you look at the eye, it has a blind eye, and we know the one in Battle Big got shot in the eye, so it is possible this could be a different one. It's just a coincidence that it has a blind eye, but it's, it's like, I don't know, David, what do you think, bro? 
Yeah, I, until someone says otherwise, I'm very much convinced that it is the same Allosaurus battle at Big Rock. Same here, because it makes sense, because it has that, like, why else would they give it that blind eye, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. But again, it does lead to the disappointment that um, this is set post-Dominion rather than pre-Dominion, because that would have been cool to see, like, like, other dinosaurs from Dominion in it. True, true. Yeah, no, I'm pretty But, on the sure other hand... Oh, go sorry. ahead. No, 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 go I ahead. Th I was thinking on the other hand, though, because it's this is after Dominion, we don't. I don't think we have to worry about seeing the locusts in Chaos Theory. That is true, yeah. Yeah, the locusts were so weird and disgusting. True. But I am glad that Chaos Theory revealed that, because for the longest time, I just thought Toro was um, either a late sub or just a smaller individual. But it turns out that um, medium-sized carnivores are smaller in the franchise, other uh, in the Chaos Theory, except for the Baryonyx and uh, the Sukumai. Because the Sukumai and Barry look to be correct size in the show. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or we could re probably yeah. just chalk it up to the Demon Carno just being a, an abnormally large individual. Uh, true. But, but it's, it's just it's just with the... Like, again, the Carnage Horse is, is not too much of a disappointment other than that green... I don't know why they have the green card of the same size as Toro. But... True. But the, the, the bigger... The bigger compl complaint here is the Allosaurus. Like, if they're gonna have it small, at least, at least not have it, at least not give it that blind eye and just say it's a different owl because you can't really say that's the Battle Big Rock Allosaurus if it's smaller than it, you know? Absolutely. Because it wasn't it confirmed that the Battle Big Rock Allosaurus was twelve meters, not ten meters. I'm pretty sure. I think I'd have to yeah. double check honestly. Un unless the Battle Big Rock owl was smaller, but like I, when you look at it compared to the humans, it looks almost the size of Rexy, to be honest, in the short film. True. Yeah. You know what I think? I think it's possible the Allosaurus size was done by error, while the car Taurus' size, maybe average is the average size in the franchise is Toro, but it just Demish is the larger individual. I think that's the best way to put that, David. You're right about that. Right, just how um how the Camp Cretaceous spine was 20 meters, even though... um. 18 is about the average, so therefore Camp Cretaceous Spino is a very large individual. That is true, because again, within the canon lore, the, the, they always say the Spinosaurus is roughly 18 years in the, in the franchise, but the, but the, you know, the one in Camp Cretaceous is even bigger than that, so that one's just a, a, a you know, an oversized Spinosaurus, just like demons and oversized Carnotaurus. Exactly. Yeah. Now, they could just say the same thing with the owl, but again, the part that that kind of frustrates me is that they gave it the blind eye indicating it's the same one from Battle of Big Rock. It's like, how would it shrink, you know? Right. Exactly. I don't think they shrunk it on purpose. I think it was I think it was done strictly due to error. What do you guys think? It was an error? Yeah, yeah, probably What's an error. Like yeah. If that's the case, I hope in season two they can they can bump they can bump up the size and just retcon season one with the owl sword size. What do you guys think? Well Yeah. Well, we'll see. Because sometimes when people make mistakes within the canon, what they do is they retcon something and then they just ignore it and fix it in the future, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But something else I, I also thought was cool in uh, Chaos Theory was definitely that final battle with, like, you know, Biggity just yes. you know, destroying, destroying the Allosaurus and then seeing the, the Suko fight that green Carno and also fighting the Parasaurolophus and the Atrociraptors fighting. Like, that was, that was wild. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah. Yeah, that's... And Definitely one of the best Jurassic fights. Also, oh, for you sure. Imagine seeing, also, seeing that in live action. Oh my god, that would have been awesome. Also, did you see that Bumpy had a baby? Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Bumpy, Bumpy having a baby too it was really awesome. And that definitely confirmed she's fully grown too. Yes. Yep. It does. Yeah. I think Bumpy got a little bigger, but I don't think she's quite as large as the other Maserati Global and Calso. She's probably she's just a smaller individual. But I miss the J Let's not forget, we don't see her with other Ankylosauruses that much in Chaos Actually, Theory, good point. So we can't officially confirm or deny it. Yeah, actually, good point. And maybe she only looks smaller again because she was compared with uh, this Ben. And keep in mind, this Ben got freaking tall. He looks to be minimum 6'5". Yeah, he's so huge. He is, yeah. Talk about a growth spurt. Yeah, he grew like a foot or, or, or more in six years, man. That's intense. Exactly. Because he was five. Five four in Camp Cretaceous, and now he looks to be minimum six five. So he grew over a foot. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. I know, all right. Mm -hmm. Trying to think. Oh, like because again, there's a lot of things that are cool in the show. Oh, you know, you know what? I think it's a pretty cool thing. What? You know how um how when the uh, Sammy and Ben go to see Yaz and she's living on that one island. Yeah. She mentions that dinosaurs are kept away by West Indian lilac. 
which was how the Triceratops got sick at Jurassic Park. Uh -huh. Huh? That that is true. Also, also, like I recently, I recently noticed too. Um, Triceratops actually did appear in KS3. I thought at first it was Stegosaurus, but like you remember that cart, that that giant truck that was driving by with dinosaurs. One of the trucks appeared to have a tri like a Triceratops look dinosaur. And if you look closely, I think it was possibly a Triceratops, bro. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I saw something like that. Yeah, I saw some a glimpse of a of its frill and horns. I I think I mean. I mean, like, it could have been Nasutoceratops, but like, if you look at the horns, it didn't... Like, you know how Nasutoceratops horns are kind of, like, curled? Yeah. Well, Triceratops horns are just straight. If you look at the horns on that thing, they look straight. I think those are... Tri I think Triceratops finally appears. Well, if that's the case, I hope we get more appearances of it in Season 2. If that's the case, I also hope we can we can get Big Edie versus Triceratops. That would be awesome. Yeah, imagine... Oh, yeah. Imagine Triceratops knocking out a T-Rex. Definitely. And also... So guys, I don't know if it's just me, but if you look at Biggity, she seems to have gained a bit of weight and also got a tiny bit bigger after after Camper Nations. What do you guys think? She looks a little larger now. Yeah, she well, does. I mean, I didn't notice it until you guys pointed it out. Yeah, like when you look at her compared to the Atrociraptor and also the Alzor, she dwarfed them both. Now, I know the owl's a little smaller, but still, even though the owl's a little smaller, she still dwarfed her like crazy. Exactly. Like, she picked it up like it was nothing. <gasps> right? Yeah. Oh wait, sure. I, I have a theory, Jack. What Yo. if that Allosaurus we saw in Chaos Three was a male? Because female Allosauruses are bigger. Possibly, or I mean, another way they could have wreck they could wreck on this in season two is they say that that owl is not the one from Battle Big Rock, and the reason why it's blind is because someone else shot it. I mean, like, at least that way it can confirm why it's smaller. Or uh -huh. they could just say it was that small because it was by mistake. I, I don't know. I just hope that I hope they find a way to wreck on it so it doesn't feel. Like, you know, not canon. Because, like, my, my, my goal and hope is that Chaos Theory is canon. Because otherwise, what's the point of the show if it's not canon, you know? Exactly. Well, I mean, the Lego Jurassic World Legends of Isla Nublar isn't canon, but it's still a fun show to watch. Actually, yeah, that, that is true. But I will add, though, I mean, I really do think that um, maybe it was, it was just an error on their part. Because let's not forget that even Jack Anthony Ewan said that sometimes dinosaurs appear to change size from shot to shot. That that is true, yeah, for sure. That even goes with the spine. Originally, like some people were thinking, the reason why the spine was so huge is is, is because of error. But uh, like the thing is, what debunks that is that Scott Creamer and and also uh, Darius in the show said that the Spinosaurus is by far the largest land carnivore within the franchise. So therefore, its severe size was not on purpose. It, sorry, was not by accident. It was on purpose for sure. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, David? Do you think that's true or what? Yeah, I mean, if Darius says it at least twice, and also everybody's shocked at how big the Spinosaurus is. Yeah, th that is true. So it, it's its size was definitely not on And that shows Alan hasn't seen the Spinosaurus since uh, 2001, because he only saw it as a juvenile. That is true. I mean, otherwise, why else would he say the Giga is the largest when we know that the Indominus Rex and the Spinosaurus are longer than the Giga in terms of length? Right. Exactly. Yep. For sure. But if, if Giga, but, true, but if there really is a second Giga, that would be it. Would be cool to see Spina versus Giga, but I kind of doubt we'll see a second Giga. In, in my opinion, yeah, exactly. probably at this point, I don't know how likely that'll be. True, true. Your card is do, do, do I anything, bro? Oh yeah. So um, so yeah. So um, those people were abusive. Like they lay, they lay, they. Uh, treated dinosaurs and I know, right? And, and well, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like these people are evil. Well, I mean, they are unfortunately, yeah. And there's some uh, the uh, what do you call it? The dinosaur wildlife and a uh, fish uh, foundation, prehistoric wildlife. Yeah, that yeah. Some of the workers were were being were being crooks. True. Right. Corrupt. Corrupt people and indeed. Corrupt. True. Now, a great plot twist in the show is that, again, when we see, like, I think it was the head owner of the prehistoric wildlife guy. He had, like, the hat and glasses. We saw oh, him Dudley, saying... Dudley Cabrera. Yeah, Dudley, okay, we, we saw that he was behind it, but then once we saw um, that girl and the other guy turn on him, shows that, you know, that he actually isn't, like, the, the full one behind it. He's, like, there's even more people behind it, you know? Mm -hmm. And what gets even more crazy is that when you think that girl... 
but the Raptors is the only one behind this. The end of the show debunks that because we see Darius and the other ones go on that ship to find out who exactly is hunting them, which shows that it's not just that girl, you know? Exactly. Right. We know that Brooklyn has ties with it. Brooklyn has ties with it. And, and not just that, I'm sure there's even more people that we don't know of that we're going to find out in season uh, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And season two is coming soon, around September, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, I heard between September and December is going to come, but personally, I hope it comes September because, like, the when season one ends, I was like, oh, come on, I want to find out what happens next. Like, I hope season two comes out in September, in my opinion. Me too. Yep. So yep, the sooner the better. Exactly, and hopefully season two will be good and introduce more dinosaurs and characters. For sure, I'm hoping the final will be in there too. And here's the here's the thing. Um, going back to what I said about the Giga, the reason why I don't think the Giga will be there, other than the fact that it's dead, is because in the toys for Chaos Theory, we see Maposaurus. So what if there's like an overpowered Maposaurus similar to like Giga, where it's similar in size and strength to Giga, and we see that either fight Big Edie or the Spinosaurus? How awesome would that be? Yeah, would you imagine seeing Maposaurus in the franchise? Oh my god, David. Really if we see cool. Maposaurus... Yo, bro, can you imagine in Season 2, we get an epic, crazy final battle. We see, we see Maposaurus versus Spinosaurus, and then maybe we see... Um, Sukumimus versus um, something else again. Like, m imagine Sugo versus Aloe, and then we get like um, the Raptors are turning in something like that for the, for the next final battle. What would you guys think of that? That'd be crazy. Exactly. For sure. Although, to be honest with Mapusaurus, I wouldn't hold my breath fully just because um, you know, even though we get toys of certain animals, doesn't officially mean that it'll that'll be in the show. Which is 100% correct because in Fallen Kingdom we got many toys. Like a, aka the Sukumimus and Pachyrhinosaurus, but they weren't in the movie, so you're right. Yep, and Ceratosaurus. So therefore, toys don't always confirm things, but it still is a possibility. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Like Ceratosaurus and Baryonyx were advertised as toys once for Camp Cretaceous, then they appeared. True, you're true. Right. You're very right. For sure. sure. But yeah, ho hopefully, hopefully the Ceratosaurus and uh, Maposaurus could be in Season 2. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Definitely. But hopefully in season two we get like an epic final battle with all these dinosaurs again, but like this time it's like different dinosaurs involved, awesome. like the Spino and uh Maposaurus or, or maybe Ceratosaurus. That'd be awesome. Exactly. I'd like that. Definitely. But I do think it, like if Spinosaurus appears, I think it's probably not gonna have a rematch because like I think the rematch was done enough in the franchise. So what I think the closest thing I think we'll get to a rematch is like maybe someone says off screen the Spinosaurus fought and killed some Rexes, but like I don't think I personally don't think uh, it's possible we're gonna get another rematch on screen. But what do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Because like if they do another rematch at this point, in my opinion, they're milking it because again we already saw it. Like the, that fight in Jurassic Park three, and then we saw it many times at Camp Cretaceous. So therefore, I think the rematch is done. Yeah, I think they exactly. Made their point. Exa yeah, exactly. But yeah, but I do think it's possible that Spinosaurus can find a new dinosaur or just be there to like you know to be a threat to the humans on the mainland or something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there's always that possibility. Yeah, because I've I've always wanted to see the Spinosaurus on the mainland. Because like imagine the amount of like you know trouble the Spinosaurus would cause to humans on the mainland. It would be a nightmare. Right. Mm hmm. Yep. That's for sure. Definitely. Oh, yeah. And Jack, do you have one thing I wish we will we, we'll get in a franchise, but it's not confirmed yet? Because uh, do you remember how we got Smilewood on in a franchise? Yeah, that was cool. I, I know the Spino ate it off, but maybe it's possible we can see like another Smilewood appear, or possibly even a Woolly Mammoth, because we know Woolly Mammoth was supposed to be in Dominion, but it got cut. Exactly. And they need they, they need to have more Cinezelic one day. True, true. I, I I personally hope we get a Bully Man in season two. That would be awesome. What do you think, David? I'd like that. Yeah, I agree. I, sure. Hey, Jack, we need to see a crocodile, like a prehistoric crocodile species one day. Oh, definitely. If we got Sarcosuchus or Dinosuchus, that would be awesome. Yes, oh, I yeah. agree. They're, they're badass. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I'd like that, too. too. Oh, for sure. Sure. It was, and also, what was great about Chaos Theory is that the final battle wasn't just a bunch of mind clones. It was just dinosaurs acting like dinosaurs, you know, which is awesome. Like, that's all mm -hmm. we want to see. We, we, we want to see dinosaurs fight like dinosaurs, not like a video game, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For sure. Because, like, we haven't really seen that properly since Season 3, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Especially Big E.D. Because, again, we didn't see Big E.D. fight too much without the mind control until, like, mm -hmm. the end of Season Five and also chaos there, but definitely the spino. It'd be cool to see him fighting without mind because we haven't we haven't seen him fight without mind control, you know. 
Uh huh. For sure. Yeah, because the moment he was freed from mind control, he was just ambushed, and then he was still like you know recovering from the and dizzy from the mind control, so he took off. You know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean if I were in the Spinosaurus shoes, I'd do the same. Same here, because like I'm, imagine waking up from sleepwalking to turn to turning your head to a to two threats running right at you. It doesn't. It won't give you any time to process the situation. You know. Yeah, the fight or flight. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter how how strong you are. You're still gonna run away from that. You know. I I know I would too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Unless you're like you know like uh, immortal, and no one's like immortal unless you're like Godzilla or something like that. Right. Yeah. For sure. And also, do you guys ever think hybrids will come back in Chaos Theory? I mean, like, I, I kind of doubt it, to be honest. But what do you guys think? Yeah, same here. I kind of doubt it, but I want to see Ultima Swords so badly. I know. I've always, it's, it's been part of the franchise since, since, like, the 1990s. I hope one day they can introduce it. What do you think, David? Well, as far as the hybrids go, I think the only hybrid that has any chance of showing up would be the Spinal Ceratops that we saw in Seasons 4 and 5 of Camp Cretaceous. True. And this I mean, time that, it'll be fully grown. Right. Especially because considering that the three carnivorous hybrids, Indominus, Indoraptor, and Scorpius, are all dead, so... True, true. I do hope the Spinosaur does, does return, though, because I want to see what it looks like when fully grown. We got a, we got a hint of it in Evolution 2, but it'd be cool to see it in, like, the, the actual show. Absolutely. Exactly. Definitely. <laughs> and some other thoughts, thoughts of the, I think, of the show... Let me think. It was also cool how, like, you know, Darius was just after the Allosaurus of the whole show because he wanted, I guess, revenge because he, you know, the Allosaurus killed someone that he really cared about. Right, exactly. exactly. Yeah. For sure. Also, you know, speaking of that, guys, how do you feel about the whole thing about uh, Darius falling in love with Brooklyn and Brooklyn and Kenji breaking up? I mean, it definitely was a shock. I never, I never predicted that Darius would have fallen in love with uh, Brooklyn, because I never thought he saw her that way. So that was definitely a, a, a big plot twist. Yep, that's true. Yeah, at the start of the series, Darius is 12, Brooklyn's 13, and Kenji's 15. For sure. And also, who was, the, who was that farmer's name that got killed that was against uh, Bumpy and uh, Sammy? I Carl. forget his name. Carl, yeah, his name was Carl. Yeah, he, he, I could tell he, he wasn't a nice guy. He was crazy. Oh, yeah, he was making Bumpy yeah. angry. True. Because there's times where I can get angry very easily. True. Well, his death in a way was kind of satisfying because I feel like he would have killed Bumpy. So Bumpy can sense that he was up to no good. So animals can sense your, your your negativity, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. And Jack, do you know what's one dinosaur you don't want to piss off? Let me guess. The Spinal? Yeah, the Spinal gets angry very easily. Especially that at the humans. Does not like people, as Cash said. He's not wrong. <laughs> For sure. Just like Shere Khan, because he's like, he's like the Shere Khan of, of a franchise. He really is, because they, they both despise humans. Yeah, and that shows tigers are the true apex predators, and spinosaurus are the apex predators. Yep. That's true. Oh, but uh, I'm trying I... to think. What's this? Sorry, what? Oh, hey, Jack, I have a curious question. Yo. So, how many uh, seasons do you think uh, Chaos Fury will end with? Well, definitely minimum two. Two is confirmed. But, like, actually, wait, is it, they, like, do you remember? It, was it two seasons or three seasons confirmed? I forget. I think at least two, but I hope they go on with more. True. I mean, like, here's here's my hope. I hope what Chaos Theory does is that it lasts until Jurassic World 4 is out. Like, we keep getting a new season until Jurassic World 4. That's my hope. And the reason why is because that can give us something to uh, watch while we wait for Jurassic World 4 so we're not bored of waiting, you know? Exactly. And, and, and Jack, it's rumored that it'll have, like, three seasons, I heard. True. Hopefully, like... But wait, three seasons, I don't, I mean, hopefully more, because, like, I'm hoping it, it, it's, like, if we got four or five seasons, then that, that would definitely be enough seasons to last until Jurassic World 4, especially if we get a new season every three, four months. Yeah, so as long as they release seasons before Jurassic World 4, everything should be good. True, true. Yeah. Yeah, like, like that's what, that's, that's my hope. They keep releasing a new season, like, every three months until, like, three, four months until Jurassic World 4, though. You know, mm-hmm. oh, speaking of Jurassic World 4... What are the yeah. chances you think Chaos Theory is going to tie into Jurassic World 4? Well, here's my hope. I really hope, because again, unfortunately, Dominion failed to do that with Camp Cretaceous. I really hope this time, if the Jurassic World 4 is a sequel, they can actually, like, full-on tie it into it. So that this way, like, this way, that would, like, you know, like, that would be, that would confirm that, that Camp Cretaceous is not soft canon. It's 100% canon, right. you know? Like, I know it's considered a canon now, but it, it would be really cool if they can tie it in with live action even more. So that way it, it would, like, like you know, fully prove that it's 100% canon. Yeah, absolutely. 
And I think the best way to do this is showing the Camp Cretaceous cast appearing in live action and also showing Big E.D., uh, Pierce, Toro, and the Spino appearing in live action, too. Oh, yeah. Like, if they do that, that would be freaking awesome, and that would confirm it, too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, by the way, Jack, I I meant to tell you something. Yo. So they confirmed that Jurassic World Evolution Freeze in the work, so it's likely because the new movie's coming out next year, so they're going to release it around when the movie comes out next year, Jurassic World Evolution Free. Well, I'm actually really excited for Jurassic World Evolution 3 because Jurassic World Evolution 2 was a massive improvement to Jurassic World Evolution 1. So picture how much, how good Evolution 3 will be compared to how Evolution 2 was, you know? Probably even better. Exactly, yeah, because I hope Evolution 3 is pretty good. Sure. I also am excited for Jurassic Park Survival, aren't you, David? Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 It looks really good. awesome. Yep. Finally, a new Jurassic Park Survival game is coming. Yeah. It's really exciting. But the thing is, they still haven't announced a, um... A release. Yeah. I hope they do soon. Have they? I don't think so. But, like, I do think it's confirmed there's still... Like, the game's not cancelled, but we don't have a release date yet. But I hope soon we get one. Exactly. Also, sure. something... Another game that they really should make is a LEGO Jurassic World 2. Because the first one ended at Jurassic World. And there's been so many stories to tell after Jurassic World. Oh, yeah. Like, wouldn't it be David? cool to get, um, yeah, wouldn't it be cool to have a, um, a Fallen Kingdom and a Dominion part to it, and maybe even a Camp Cretaceous edition? Oh, for sure, and Jurassic World 4 as well. Mm-hmm. That's what, here's what, I, I personally believe the best time to release the LEGO Jurassic World 2 is, uh, either July or August of next year, and include everything that we, everything from Jurassic World to Jurassic World 4, including Camp Cretaceous and Chaos Theory, and even Battle of Big Rock. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Because that would be, oh, oh my god, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Like, bro, if they make that game, I'm buying it in two seconds, man. <laughs> Word. I'm buying it faster than um, than uh, BK could say the word. Hell no! Fuck, Angie, bro! <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Never gets old. Oh, my god. It never gets fucking off. <laughs> to be honest. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes he can be a dick. I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of him in Camp Cretaceous, but I, I, I really like the new him, though, in Chaos Theory. Exactly. Yeah. Do, do, how about you? Do, 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 do you prefer him in uh, Camp Cretaceous or Chaos Theory? Uh, Chaos Theory. True. So far, I'm saying Camp Cretaceous just because I want to see how he grows more in Chaos Theory, you know? Yep. That's a good point, because we haven't seen much of him really, really in Chaos Theory. And you know what's good? But, like, I, I found it cool that we saw two back with Spinus, and then... And then we saw it, like, even attack them in, in the water. Like, like the, that water scene where the water's leaking into the car was a great callback to Fallen Canyon when the water was leaking into the gyrosphere. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And what's even more crazy is that, I, again, originally I thought there was only one Suko in KSD, but my friend pointed out there was actually two. There was another one that appeared for, like, a split second that had, like, an orange color on his face it appeared, like, behind the barriers. Like, th that was cool. That was cool, actually. Did That's you guys right. notice that? Sure. I mean, like, was it the same one? No, I, I, I think there could have been. I think there was two Sukos because one of them looked different than the other. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think they were different, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and then that, that green carnival, that was not expected. I never thought we, we would see a green carnival within the canon. Like, that was awesome. I agree. I, I didn't expect that when I saw it. Definitely. But uh, overall, to sum it up, I guess there's a few more things we could add. The dinosaurs that appeared in the show that were now in the trailers, I think it was Triceratops, Gallimimus, uh, the green... Actually, no, the green pair did appear in the trailers. Um, what else? Uh, Comstognathus, and... What else was there, guys? Dimorphodon. Mm -hmm. uh, Dimorphodon, and I think Tranon as well, or because I don't think Tranon was in the trailer, right? I'm not sure, honestly. True. If I recall, it wasn't. But I don't stick him all because in the teasers. So yeah, so like, there's definitely a good four or five dinosaurs that appeared that were not in the trailers, which which was cool because that was a, a nice surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. And then of course the dinosaur battles were cool, especially the like I know the Suko versus Carno battle is short, but that was great how they included a fight that was cut from Jurassic World Dominion. Like that was cool. Oh yeah. For sure. It's also cool when the Suko attacked the Parasaur Lavis because like, it did that same poser as the Spinosaurus did in Jurassic Park 3 when it was going to snap the Rex's neck, but instead it, it, it was like it was trying to like break the back of the Parasaur Lavis, but then the Parasaur Lavis got away, which is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, I, 
I, I love Parasaurolophus. I don't want to see it die. Yeah, Parasaurolophus are like innocent and gentle dinosaurs. They are, yeah. Oh. Well, I think what happened is like it was trying to go after Parasaurolophus, but then it got distracted by the Carno and went after the Carno instead. Yep. I think that's that's what happened, right? Okay. You're like, you're at least the carnivores <laughs> attacking before it could finish off the Parasaur. Yeah, true, true. And also, guys, like, is it just me or is that green Parasaurolophus and Kester the same one from JP3? It it looks it. Well, they are similar in color, I'll <laughs> grant. <laughs> maybe maybe this confirms that the JP3 Parasaurolophus survived. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Or the just different ones, but I, I don't know. It's it's it still is possible they're the same, maybe. Oh, speaking of JP3 Parasaurolophus, is you something we haven't seen more of, but we only see those in JP3, but we need to get those one day. Let me guess. Cretosaurus? Exactly. And Agreed. not just Cretosaurus, but also the Inkalosaurus versions. And don't forget about the, the, the Brachiosaurus and the Triceratops and Stegosaurus from that movie. They were beautiful. Yep. beautiful. They were. It would be cool to see them return if they're still and, alive. And they're so underrated. For sure. Well, I mean, the Dinotrack website did confirm the Buck Doe, the, J, the JP3 Raptors, the Lost Raptors are all still alive. So. Well, I mean, the, 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 they're still alive. Who's to say the Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, and Kylosaurus and Corythosaurus are not still alive? Exactly. Right. Yep. And, of course, the Spinal and Strider were still alive because we saw them in Camp Cretaceous, so. Mm hmm I don't know if any of those Stratosaurus were the same one from JP3, but you know, whether they were or not, like, the Stratosaurus lived on, like, in terms of his species after JP3. Right. Exactly. So I do I do personally like to believe that at least one of those stratuses was the same one from JB3, but what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. It's possible, but then again, it's always hard to tell though. True, true. Mm -hmm. But like I, I I personally do believe the spino and cameras cameras is the same one from JB3, simply due to, due to the fact of how big it is and how and how it knew how to hunt down like how how it knew how to beat a big so easily and due to the fact that scott creamer said it was the intention to make the same one so therefore it's it's pretty much the same one to be honest mm -hmm. yeah i'm not gonna argue with you there yep the only thing the only thing that threw me off was just the roar that was it oh yeah i mean hopefully if spinosaurus does properly appear in season two of chaos theory i hope that they learn their lesson and fix the roars. oh I, I i hope so too yeah will be nice that like they they changed the roars back to the original roars and, and then they just retcon season four and five say that like you know um that the roars it did in season four and five are not canon that that'd be nice hey guys well yeah, exactly. we'll have to see but it would be for sure i mean because even like, if they got creamer acknowledged that um the, the roars were wrong sure sure I mean, like, how cool to see how how cool would be to see if the full grown spinosaurus with the correct roars like that. Oh my god, that'd be so much more terrifying in in callbacks to, to the past. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Especially its famous roar. Oh yeah, for sure. But overall, case theory was really cool. I mean, like, I don't think it was perfect, but I definitely enjoyed it more than uh, Camp Cretaceous. I personally would probably give it. Anywhere from a 7 to 8 out of 10. But how about you, David? What would you give it? I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Nice, nice. Carter, how about you, bro? Yeah, I gave, gave like an 8 out of 10, too. Nice, nice. nice. The only reason why what's, what's preventing me from giving it um, a 10 out of 10 is that it would have been nice to see a couple more dinosaurs appear, especially the, the Spinosaurus, and maybe have the battles a little longer, with, with, especially with the Suko and Carno. Oh, yeah. I can understand why, um, the, what's it called, the, the Owl and... T Rex fight was short because again, Tyrannosaurus Rex is a lot stronger than an Allosaurus. But with the Suko and Carno, it's it's more of a fair fight, you know? Right. Yeah. But again, I don't think they were trying to fight to the death. I think it was just a quick little scuffle and then they walked away. That sounds about right. Yeah. But the fights were still cool, don't get don't get me wrong. Oh, of course. Yep. I kinda wish the Barry Onyx was involved within the fights too, the final battle, but unfortunately the Barry Onyx only had a quick cameo. Right. True. Exactly. But uh, overall, oh, yeah. it, true, true. But overall, Chaos Theory was great. I'm, I'm really looking for, forward to seeing what they do in uh, Season 2 and where the show goes from here and how it con connects to the rest of the franchise, especially Jurassic World 4. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hopefully in Season 2, we can also see Sayano Se Santos in there because, again, she wasn't killed off in Dominion and she was a villain, so I, I'd assume that she would be involved within the dinosaur uh stuff that's going on you know the illegal stuff right. yep 
And who knows, what if Red the Atrociraptor is reunited with the rest of his pack mates? True, true. Pack mates, I should say. Yep. That is true. But that definitely was a big shock. Cause like I always thought that Chaos Theory was supposed to be before Dominion, but but obviously Chaos Theory proved otherwise, you know? Mm. Because, mm. Cause I'm pretty sure even Swerve was saying that it was supposed to be before Dominion, but then of course, like with that um call history saying September two thousand twenty two, there's no way that Dominion took place in September two thousand twenty two. It was confirmed to be in June. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or, or was it? I I'm pretty sure it was confirmed to be June, wasn't it? You know, I'm not entirely sure myself, but either way, we know that it takes place during the first half of the year rather than the second half. True, true. So yeah, it, it probably is before Dominion. Before Dominion. So sorry, like it's going. Cancer probably is after Dominion, to be honest. Yeah, at first when I um when I saw like Brooklyn's phone and I saw the dates, I thought maybe the the showmakers made an error, but now I'm more accepting that the, rap the show is actually true. set after Dominion. True. Especially because of the Raptor situation that there's only three? Right. Yeah, because as I watched, I was really confused as to why there were only three Raptors instead of the four. But if it's set after Dominion, it makes more sense. True, true. I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, again, I thought it was an error at first, too. But then, of course, with the, just the three Raptors, that's the biggest indication that it was done on, on purpose, not by error. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of cool, because, like, in a way, this technically is Jurassic World 4, if it's set after Dominion, but, like, it's kind of like an anime version of Jurassic World 4, in a way, which is kind of cool. <laughs> true, true. But other than that, the show is really cool. I mean, um, is, do you think there's anything that we missed talking about the show? I'm trying to think. Of, Actually, there's, the there's one thing I want to bring up. Yeah. It's about the Atrociraptors. Yeah. I had no idea they could camouflage. Yeah, same yeah, that was a cool addition to add for sure because I was not shown in Dominion. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see that, that coming. Same here, and also that new character. What was his name again? The ones that saved the ones at the oh. end. It was cool to see him as like a new hero. Mateo. Yeah, Mateo. Oh yeah, he, he was a cool guy too. I yeah. hope he returns in season two. Yeah, I hope, I hope. Even though he said he wasn't gonna join him on the boat. True. Mateo was, was more nicer than those guys. True. I first. I thought Mateo could have been bad, but then when he saved him at the end, that confirmed that he is not bad. Otherwise, he wouldn't yeah. have saved him. Wanted to redeem himself for sure. Definitely, yeah. Because like Darius and, and Kenji didn't trust him at first. Exactly. Yeah. It was also cool how the show was with a big road trip. We, we literally saw Ben freaking driving hours and hours. Like, oh my, he's driving all over the place. That, that was cool. It was like a road trip show. Oh yeah. 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 For sure. And also. So like I like how the I like how the, the, the like there's good character involved. At first, uh, Darius did not trust uh, Ben. Thought he was like bullshitting with the uh, hunting thing. But then of course, when Darius saw the more evidence, he knew that Ben that Ben was being legit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was a great addition to add too. Right. True. But I'm sure on season two we're gonna get some new dinosaurs, a new story, and get more answers to who's hunting them. But like. Other than that, I can't really think of much else. Can you guys think of anything else you'd like to add about the show? Oh, um, I hope the other Manticore dinosaurs will appear in the next season, like Little Edie and Pierce and Firecracker. True, Tor on the Spino as well. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All I hope, all, I hope all of them appear. And if Firecracker's fully grown, it'd be interesting to see if she was bred from the JB3 Brachiosaurus because if she is, like, like I said, she's from Sorna, maybe. Like, this can confirm that, like, there's other JB3 Brachiosaurus still alive. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, who knows? Definitely. But anyways, Carter, do you have any other uh, thoughts you'd like to add to Chaos Theory before we end the video? Yeah. yeah. So, um, what what are your predictions for the next uh, new species for the, for the next seasons? Um, based off canon and toys, I think Mapasaurus is possible, Ceratosaurus is possible, Giga might be possible... I think Spino has a good chance. Maybe the rest of the Manticore Island dinosaurs and possibly Majungasaurus too. But what do you think, David? Yeah. You know, I, I definitely agree about Majungasaurus appearing in the next season. Mostly because we have the toy of the individual named Major. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, Mapasaurus is kind of a small chance, but I think Majungasaurus has the best chance out of all the ones. Yeah, that I just Majungasaurus mentioned. has to appear soon because. Yeah, because it's it's got a name, and like for example, Belkospine has a name Brunette, so which is appearing. So why else would, Majung would Majungasaurus have a name? And not what? just that, Majungasaurus DNA is canon because it was used to make up the Indominus Rex, the Scorpius Rex, and the Indoraptor. Right. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh-huh. But well, overall, I guess... New species. Yeah. I really can't think of much else. Same here. I mean, we, we might get a few shockers that we didn't expect in Season 2, but as of right now, I don't know what, what species we can expect other than the <clears throat> the canon the canon species or the toys. Right. But um, my main hope for season two is that um, that we is is we find out who is hunting them, like who's behind all this this new uh, stuff, and, and why they're hunting them, exactly. and how this connects to Jurassic World Four. Mm-hmm. And there's definitely because there's mysteries we need answered. That that is true. That there is a lot of mysteries that we need answered for sure. Exactly. Right. Like and questions that that need to be answered. Yep. Also, the the Allosaurus versus uh, Pachyonosaurus fight was pretty cool too. Actually, even though it was short, I still I still thought it was cool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, what a agree. Way to it was amazing. Oh, sorry, sorry, what did I, David? I can hear I you. I said, what a way to kick off the show. Oh, definitely. Exactly. For sure. Yep. But um, before we get the is there, just to, just to make sure, guys, we don't miss anything. Is there is there anything in the show that that happened that we didn't talk about yet? Huh. What, what, what do we miss, David? Miss, Dave? What, what do we miss, David? I don't know, Carter. I mean, I think we covered most of it, if not all of it. Oh, oh yeah. The, the other, oh, the other part that I think, I think I already mentioned that man. Like, wait, did I mention that Manticore Island was fully investigated? Because I said that. So, did we already talk about that? I forget. I think I, we might. I, yeah, I think we, we sort of did. I think, but we haven't talked about it much. We sort of did. So basically, there was a person in the show that said Manticore Island was fully investigated. I think what they mean by that is that. All the dinosaurs on the island were are no longer there, and they've been transferred to the mainland. Throughout, like not all in just one country. I think they're scattered throughout the world. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, and this is why in season two, when they when they ship to like a different country, we could see the spinosaurus causing rampage on the mainland mm-hmm. in season two. Exactly. Oh, that'd be cool. Yep, definitely. And then uh, something else I think we didn't talk about. What was it again? Oh yeah, it, it was cool to see that Bumpy was was staying with. Uh, with Sammy, I, I didn't, I, I didn't expect that. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, that would explain um, what she was doing in the trailers, or like why she was there on the mainland. True. I don't have the money for sure. But overall, anyway, anyways, uh, tell us, guys, what were your thoughts on Jurassic World KS3? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you like about the show? What were your disappointments? And what do you think will happen in uh, Jurassic World KS3 season two? David and Carter, it was really great to have you guys for this spoiler review, and I'm looking forward to collabing with you guys again in the near future. Hey. You're welcome, Jack. Uh, Jack. Thanks, thanks for letting me join in, Jack. All right. Hey, bro. All right, so before we end the live, is, are you sure there's anything else you guys would like to add? I think that's it. Right, Carter, is that it for you, too? What? No, I'm just saying, is, 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 there, is there anything else you'd like to add in the video? Or? Uh, no, I think, that's, I think that's everything we got. All right, bro. All right, guys, take care. Before I end this video, I want to thank all my fans who are also my friends who continue watching my videos. You guys are the best. I appreciate all the support my fans are giving me. I love all my fans. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're alerted for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like, post a friendly comment, and share my videos with everyone you know. I also hope you guys can consider joining my Patreon for amazing extra content and to support me. I have some amazing deals for extra content on my Patreon, so be sure to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. Each Patreon tier has a list of all the benefits you will receive if you join. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for extra content there as well. And until my next video, have a great day and take care everyone.